Today, we have glitter on the table. We gotta keep it exciting, folks. If that's what's exciting around here, then have at it. We're all shiny. <laughs> Welcome to day 20 of our Advent journey through Luke. Things are starting to get rather exciting around our house with the countdown to Christmas. So, presents. which uh, has contributed the to of the Jesus. glitter yes. on the table. Yes. 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 Sure. So, let's open with a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, we love to celebrate your birth, even more sometimes than our own birthdays. Help us to celebrate well and at the same time be at rest and at peace and not get tripped up into all of the little details. We ask as we go to your word today again that you will open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, and our hearts to understand. And help us to remember what your word says. Amen. Chapter 20, verse 1. One day, as he was teaching the people in the temple courts and preaching the gospel, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, together with the elders, came up to him. Tell us by what authority you are doing these things, they said. Who gave you this authority? He replied, I will also ask you a question. Tell me, John's baptism, was it from heaven or from men? They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, Why didn't you believe him? But if we say from men, all the people will stone us because they are persuaded that John was a prophet. So they answered, We don't know where it was from. Jesus said, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. He went on to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard, rented it to some farmers, and went away for a long time. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants so they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one also they beat and treated shamefully and sent away empty-handed. He sent still a third, and they wounded him and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my son whom I love. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw how saw him, they talked the matter over. This is the heir, they said. Let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When the people heard this, they said, May this never be. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning of that which is written? The stone, the builders, builders rejected, rejected it has become, become the Capstone. Capstone. Uh, everyone. Every, everyone. Everyone. That. Start with the word everyone. Look at that's. Everyone who falls on this stone will be broke. Broken. Broken. 
broken to pieces. Pieces, but he on hmm. whom it falls with will. will be crushed. Nice. The teachers of the law and the chief priests looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken this parable against them. But they were afraid of the people. Keeping a close watch on him, they sent spies who pretended to be honest. They hoped to catch Jesus, and suddenly he said, Bless you. Bless you again. And just in case, bless you again. <laughs> yes. You can ignore the sneezes. That wasn't part of the story. <laughs> they hoped to catch Jesus in something he said, so, they, so that they might hand him over to the power and authority of the governor. So the spies questioned him. Teacher, we know that you speak and teach what is right, and that you do not show partial... Partiality. Thank you. It was like partiality? What? Partiality. But teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it right for us to pay tax to Caesar or not? He, sh he saw through their duplicity and said to them, Show me a de denarius? A denarius. Who's... P who's p wow. That English. Mm. In a long day. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, whose portrait and inscription are on it? Caesar's, they replied. He said to them, Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. They were unable to trap him in what he said there in public. And astonished by his answer, they became silent. Some of the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife, but no children, the man must marry the widow and have children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married a woman and died childless. The second and then the third married her, and in the same way the seven died, leaving no children. Finally, the woman died too. Now then, at the resurrection, whose wife will she be, since the seven were married to her? Jesus replied, The people of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy of taking part in that age and in the resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage, and they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. But in the account of the bush, even Moses showed that the dead rise, for he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but God of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the teachers of the law responded, Well said, teacher. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. And then Jesus... Uh, I'm, about to go, I'm about to go on. Yeah. Then Jesus said to them, How is it that they say the Christ is the son of David? David himself declares in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit on my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. David calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? While all the people were listening, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted in the marketplace, marketplaces and out of the most important seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for show make lengthy prayers. Such men will be punished most severely. I have comments. 
not full out blown thoughts about what's going on, <laughs> but like, like you know, comments. Okay, so okay. and it's not go for it. Okay, so like the very first thing, you know, Jesus, Jesus authority questioned. I said Jesus. And we kind of Jesus. Um, so like, you ever like had a game of chess where you're playing and you realize, crap, I'm about to get checkmate, and you just you're like, hey, can I like go grab something and then you just never come back. No. No? Okay. <laughs> so that's kinda like what the like what the Pharisees are doing right here. It's like, oh crap. We wanted to dupe them and they and he duped us. Right. Let's get out of here. That's why that's what the Pharisees are doing right now. They're trying every single trick in the book and every single trick in the book, Jesus is one trick ahead. It's funny. Uh, I did once play Monopoly with somebody who when they realized that there was no way, they uh, accidentally upset the whole board. Ah, yes, exactly. Yes. Ah, chew! Ah, all the pieces got everywhere. Sorry, man. I guess we'll have to restart. It's all Corona now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, the parable of the tenants. Um, never knew, noticed this, but that's foreshadowing. Jesus is prophesying his death. That's yeah. something I never noticed. And. Notice at the bottom of that passage, it says the folks he's talking to, mm -hmm. who, are, who are the folks he's talking to? The Pharisees and the people, I'm assuming. The Pharisees recognize that not only is he predicting what's going to happen to him, because they have been looking for ways to kill him, mm -hmm. but he is speaking against them as being God's tenants on the earth mm -hmm. and that it's them that will eventually you know Jesus may encounter the wrath of the Pharisees which, a, he, which he does but they are going to encounter the wrath of God ah so they're they scared decide, of him and the people not just maybe a little bit scared but mostly really ticked off that he has seen through what they were trying to do and oh, now, it's like now they want to get it done hand, faster. Hand caught in the cookie jar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. he, they, they got a verbal slapping from Jesus. In Monsters, Inc., there is, a, there is a spot where there's one of the characters who does something that says, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And everybody that's, around knows she did. No, that's Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, ate the scooter. Yeah, she ate the scooter and, you know, I didn't do that. And then later she admits, is like, I ate his scooter! Yeah, here's the point. That's where the Pharisees are at this point. Well, I didn't do that. We didn't do that. We would never do that. Denial. And inside, they know. And it's just making them all the angrier. We're in chapter 20. We just finished chapter 20. Chapter 24 is the resurrection. Jesus in 21, 22, 23. He starts prophesying. Well, 21's got an awful lot of, of here's what the future will look like. In 22 and 23, they kill him as painfully as they can arrange. He just ticked them off the, the <laughs> most that has happened yet. Yet. Mm hmm. Um. There's one like one other. The whole rising thing will tick them off more. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I can only imagine what they were feeling at that point. No, I can't. I can't even begin to imagine. Um, well, was there something else that you uh, saw? There was. Um, so, the, the resurrection and marriage thing. Um, again, this is just a comment. It's not like a full blown thought. Um, Jesus gets a lot of riddles. He's like. One of the Jewish ways of teaching was to ask questions. The Socratic, even, even going into Socrates, the, the Socratic, Socratic method. method. Yes. Jenks, you owe me root beer. Anyway. I pay for all the other stuff. Oh, well, you can be, <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for another one. Anyway, um, I'm just here thinking. Jesus answers every single riddle that gets you know, thrown at him with ease. It was like, I throw a riddle fastball at you and all of a sudden he's just like slapping it away off to the side. No, 
he puts it back in your court. Um, it's tennis. He, 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 he puts he, it back in your court so that you miss the spot. Yes. <laughs> he, he catches it and throws it back at you. I see. So Anyway. What, what, what is the question there? I, um, that's like the wisdom of God right there. And like, it's like, you know, Solomon wisdom. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Think about it for just a second. The Bible tells us that nothing was created by God except through Jesus. Every piece of anything that was created, the Father spoke the Word, and Jesus, the Word of God, created it. Jesus created Solomon. Jesus is the one that chose what was going to go in. Ah, Jesus knew this riddle before it was going to be said. Well, yeah, that too. G Jesus, now you're into a whole other area, but <laughs> it's like whenever you know, oh, hey, dude, I got a riddle. Oh, is it this? And you know, says the riddle and the punchline. You could, but and then the person gets like really disappointed and mad because right, like we're we're heading off the bunny yes. trail now. Oh well, I'm good at tangents. Yes. This Daily Dose of Trivia brought to you by Joshua Mix. We all have our strengths. Yep. Anything you want to throw in there before we pray? <laughs> there. Oh, I, think, I think not today. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for all that you did for us while you were physically here and the way that you, through your Holy Spirit inspired the writers to write down the parts that we needed to be able to know. Lord, we ask that you would give us that same kind of wisdom that would help us in, in our everyday lives as as people try to trick us, as people try to catch us and tempt us and, and lead us down some not so good trails. Help us to be aware of the pitfalls that face us. And Lord, we ask that you would help us as we continue over well, I guess the next four days, to hear the rest of the story of your life here on earth and lead us to the place where we can come to Christmas and really understand the true nature of you giving the gift of yourself. In your name we pray, amen. Yeah, you want, you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch it.